What's up, everybody? JC here for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. 2019-20 Gold Rush Autograph Hockey Jerseys. Three box, half case break. Random players number four just sold out. So, again, you get two random players from the list below. 25 spots. All the way down there to Wayne Gretzky. And, again, uh, Ramdo Orc. Uh, we did the payment thing and all that, but it's going to take a couple hours to take effect. So, in the meantime, we're going to use Psychic Science again. Which works just like a normal random list randomizer. The only thing, it doesn't tell me how many times it randomizes. So just listen to the sound of my voice and how many times I click. And we'll make sure that it's correct. And we'll use some physical dice for this one. So it's only for about another hour or so. So hopefully it'll be done by then. So good luck, guys. Let's roll the dice. All right. Got one. And a five. So six times. Randomize customer names in the list, and we doubled up your list six times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Boom, six times. Five and a one. Aaron. Down to Aaron. Now let's go six times now on the jerseys, or players, sorry. And some of them are combo teams, or some of them are like full Canadians, or uh, Hurricanes, Penguins, Knights jerseys. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Mike Ruzioni, down to Marc-Andre Fleury. All right, Aaron, you got Mike Ruzioni, TJ with Canadians, 10 Cups Club, Ryan with Gary Cheevers, Frank with Jeremy Roenick, Aaron with Bobby Hall, Frank with Ovechkin, Hanson Brothers, Lundquist, and Patrick Waugh. Willem, you have uh, Gerard Galliant, uh, Gerard, sorry. Ryan with Sidney Crosby, Wade with Brett Hall, Frank, you have Miracle on Ice, and Paul LaFontaine, which should be Pat LaFontaine. I'm not sure why it says Paul. Uh, Willem with Dominic Hasek, Frank, you have Dennis Potvin. William with Pecorine, Aaron with Connor McDavid, Frank with Bernie Parent, or Parent, 2008-2009 Pittsburgh Penguins jersey, Aaron with Wayne Gretzky, Ryan with Sergey Gonchar and a combo, Samuelson, Frank you have Matt Murray, Paul Coffey, Henrik Sedin, uh, Eddie, uh, as well as Chris Chelios and Cam Neely, Wade you have 2017-18 Vegas Golden Knights, Frank with Phyllis Pizzito and Evgeny Malkin, William with Gordy Howe. Marcel Dion and Quick for Frank. Scott with Barry, Brian Trotter. Ryan Emerson, you have Chevy Chase. William with Johnny uh, Boyshuk, a Buish. I, I always forget that one. Um, Wade with Andre Kopitar. Um, TJ, you have Bobby Orr. Aaron with 0809 Carolina Hurricanes. Scott with Mike Madonna. Johnny Goudreau for Frank. William with John Tavares. Wade, you have Jim Craig, Last Spot Mojo. TJ with Jacob Voracek. Uh, Frank with Ed Balfour, Tony Esposito, TJ with Patrick Kane, Frank with Steven Stamkos, and Aaron with Mark andre Fleury. So I'll give you guys time to make any chase. Busick, that's what it is, yeah. A lot of the old-time players, I know them. I just sometimes don't know how to pronounce their last names just because I didn't really watch them too much. So I just got to listen to it a couple times. But I remember that one. That's the one that always gets me. And so does, uh, which is the other one that gets me good? I, I know it's in the back of my head, but I can never say it. This one. Eddie Aga, uh, Giacomin. That's that's the one that always gets me, too. And then you tell him, like, oh, yeah, that's right. William say he'll trade all his players for Gretzky. Which, Aaron P., let me know if you're here. All right, here are the three boxes. I'll just grab it one at a time. And again, I don't know if we have any more left. But if we do, we'll post them up. <sighs> All right, closing trade window in 15 seconds.
Alright, Aaron's good. Should I win a close? You know, one time I did some of these repack products myself and did some breaks, and um, I did pull one of those Miracle on Ice jerseys with Mike Ruzioni, Craig, and all them on it. It was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Always, William. Look, I've seen people accept a trade like that, and it worked out in favor of, like, the customer. I one time, man, I remember when I first started breaking this. It sucks. I mean, it, it sucks, but this, like, younger kid, I think he was breaking with his dad or something. He got the Oilers in, like, a one-box break of, like, ice hockey. 15, 16 year, and still sucks to this day, but some guy offered all his, like, 15 teams for, like, the Oilers. And the little kid's all like, you know, of course I'll trade all those 15 teams for the Oilers. The Oilers suck. You know, why, why does anybody want the Oilers? And he didn't realize Connor McDavid was in this draft class. Traded him. Opened up the box. Exquisite patch autograph comes out. Guy sold it for $5,000, like, in a week. And I remember the kid was like, oh, I didn't know Connor McDavid was in here. And, hey, they confirmed it. They said it. We didn't know it was a kid at the time. It, it, it hurt. So that's why... You know, I don't get involved and I say, dude, you shouldn't do that. That's up to you guys. I don't like to be the influencer, but it does suck. And again, it's worked out t sometimes where a customer doesn't believe that McDavid's going to come out. You know, trades 20 plus teams and hits the McDavid and that sucks too. I physically remember that one. And, um, but I physically remember too some customers actually cashing in on like 20 teams. <laughs> you know, and the guy feels bad because he traded all his 20 teams for the Oilers. But that's the risk you take, you know. You obviously don't know what's going to pop out of these boxes. I put in my knife. But yeah, you know, you never know. It's, it's crazy. Alright guys, good luck. First one. I'm going to just lift this up, peek for myself, and we'll play a little Who Am I. All right, guys, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? So I am a former Canadian professional ice hockey defenseman who played for a lot of teams. Oilers, Penguins, Kings, Red Wings, Hartford Whalers, Flyers, Blackhawks, Hurricanes, and Bruins. Was the sixth overall pick in 1980. Played for over 21 years. And it doesn't look like I'm in the Hall of Fame. But he did win an Norris Trophy. And uh, ranks second amongst all-time NHL defensemen in scoring goals, assists, and points. Only behind Ray Bork. Which, how could you not be in the, how could you not be in the Hall of Fame? Is this real? Or has this just not been updated? Oh, no. He's not, actually. Wow. It's good. How, how could you not be? Four-time Stanley Cup champion with one team. Also won a Stanley Cup champion. Uh, winner with one another team. So two teams. Won Canada Cup a couple times. Oh, sorry. There it is. Ho inducted in the Hockey Hall of Fame 2004. Whew. I was about to say, man, how could this guy not be in the Hall of Fame? Thought he was. Uh, I'll tell you the team he was drafted by. Oilers. Drafted by the Oilers. No, it's not Bork. Yes, Michael, I ended up staying a little late to like close to midnight and I broke everything else that filled last night. 
So the video should be posted. Any other guesses, guys? Not Phil Housley. Yes, Wade, you are correct. Which, I don't remember him being 77, so this must be like Bruins or Penguins edition. There you go. Coffee. And it looks like it's actually Penguins edition. There you go. Won a Stanley Cup with them in 1991, I believe. So there you go. Beckett COA, autograph, and Hall of Fame 04. Very sweet. Try to put this back as neatly as possible. But I'll put that over here. And Paul Coffey. Oh, Joseph, don't want to bring back old memories. <laughs> uh, where's Paul Coffey? Let's look him up really quick. Frank! one Logan I'm doing well man how are you doing doing much better today Ooh, I can rave about this guy wait let me double check Alright, I am a active uh, NHL centerman drafted in 2005. Has led his team in scoring in all but two seasons, as in fifth in franchise history in points, goals, and assists. Captain of his current team. Won a Selkie in 2016. As well as the Lady Binge Memorial Trophy. And won another Selkie in 2018. Only born player from Slovenia. <laughs> Should have won the Hart Trophy. In 2018, but was a finalist. Should have won a Conn Smite in 2014. Although they gave it to Justin Williams, which is okay, but I think Kopitar had a better playoff career, playoff series that year. And again, a lot of people pass on him, drafted 11th. Who has him, first of all? It is Andre Kopitar, and wow, this is one of those Adidas jerseys. This is a legit one right here. Look at that. Although it's an old one that has, still has an A, you can get that upgraded. But this is an old Adidas, probably their first year they got Adidas. It's pretty cool. Nice little shield on there. Climate. 54. There you go. I got to be a homer though, Wade, because you know what? He doesn't get the respect he deserves. From fans, at least. Although players know. 
how good and talented he is. There you go. And Wade, you got Andre Kopitar. Look at that. There's his auto right there. PSA DNA. Very, very nice. Patrice Bergeron is not better. You're a homer too, Ray Rice. He got robbed a year or two for those Selkies. But again, West Coast gets no love. West Coast, East Coast biased. All right. Coolio. And I should be a future Hall of Famer, in my opinion. What's this? <laughs> I respect what she's Virgil on, too, but I just feel bad sometimes because, man, Kopitar should get way more love, but I know he plays for the Kings, so that's probably why. All right, there you go. All right, last box, guys. Good luck. So, yeah, that wasn't one any of those custom jerseys. That was actually a real jersey. That's even better. Oh, is this what I think it is? It is. All right, let's see. All right, I am a former American ice hockey player in the NHL. Played for one, two, three, four, five teams in my 18-year NHL career. And represented Team USA in numerous international tournaments. And in 2007, became the third American-born player to score 500 goals. This jersey is actually uh, with the first team he played for. And I think definitely had some really, really good seasons with this team. Until his crazy face injury. Then bounced around a little bit. Went to a team for a couple years. Went to another team for a couple years. Played with my Kings for two years. And a couple years somewhere else. And ended his career in San Jose. When he retired, finished his career having 513 goals, 700 assists for 1,300 or close to 1,200 points in 1,300 games. And a lot of controversy with him as well. Very, very loud mouth, even now in television. I, I think he got booted from NBC, didn't he? Yes, Frank, you are correct. Don't know if we'll see him in the Hall of Fame, but I feel like we should, right? Just because he's an American born. And, I mean, he scored 500 goals. And yes, I'm JR. Jeremy Ronick. And Blackhawks edition as well. This one is a custom jersey, but it's Blackhawks edition of Jeremy Ronick. Don't want to unfold it just because it's nicely folded, but there you go. JR. And Jeremy Ronick is going to Frank. There you go, Frank. And there you go, guys. That was the break. This was the Gold Rush Autograph Hockey Jerseys 3-box half case break. Random players number 4. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Again, I don't know if we have any more of these, but if we do, we're going to post them up. Appreciate it, guys.